always remember before you put the iOS 8 Wear Master, basically a finished build, always remember to back up your phone. Because the, the suggestion I'm going to make is when you put in iOS 8, it will be basically you basically restore the device and force update the device. So, always remember, back up your device. Now, as you download the iOS 8 file, basically Grandmaster, open up iTunes, and then shortly you will see the iPhone. But right now, my iPhone's currently restoring the factory conditions and I backed up the device. And as this one gets to the point that it shows the iPhone, then the next step will be applied. So now, this second step, which is basically the, GP, the FU restore, which you hold the home button and home button at the same time, and then put in your phone, which is the easier way I recommend. And when you see this, and you'll see this, which is in recovery mode, you click the shift button, shift, and push to a phone, and so let me move it to, and this is the package, iOS 8, and it will erase the iPhone and update it to iOS 8. And now it's restored and update. Since the extracting software is done, and now you shall see the Apple logo and then shortly a progress bar. And after this is this is done, basically now you'll have iOS 8 on your device. Even before it was actually available for everyone else. So the benefit is two things. First is basically you're not going to be up updating over the air which shall be overloaded with a lot of people updating to iOS 8. So that beats the line in short. Secondly, with this method, you'll make your iPhone have a little bit better performance and etc. Basically starting new, but with the backup. So, let's wait until this is finished, and then I'll show you iOS 8. As you can see here, it's almost done, and it's done. So now the first boot of iOS 8. Now let's set up the device. Let's have my Wi-Fi. Enable location services. And now it's something new about this when you set up the iPhone it says what is for store and do. Your personal data and purchase the content will appear on the device automatically, etc. etc. Let's restore from backup. iCloud signing, signing, and we got the emoji thing. Emoji. 
almost done with this. Now let's sign in. Uh, time and conditions. Agree. May take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. And choose the backup, which I'm going to choose the recent. Huh. Didn't go through. Now it's going to restore it from my cloud. It can take anything, but right now it's estimating. It can take a few minutes, 10 minutes, or whatever, depending on my Wi Fi speed. Or my internet speed and sweat. So now, let's wait. Might be a bug from when I was restoring. It was saying like it would take 30 minutes, an hour and so, and now it's supposedly done. Strange. So now it's booting up the device. Again with the loader, uh, with the loading progress bar. Seems to be done. Now, it says we're storing from my cloud backup. Now it's swipe. Huh? Yes, yeah, the other way. Update completed. Let's enter my password. Updating our cloud settings. And I was able uh, let's I message in FaceTime. iCloud Drive Up upgrade Touch ID Sap Touch ID. Now it's have a certain way to set up. Now I gotta place my finger. And now adjust the grip. Press continue. Complete. Create a passcode. Share with app developers. Welcome to iPhone. So, here's iOS 8. Right now it's being restored from iCloud backup. So let's check it out. The calendar. The mail. 
which basically is like that. Maps. Camera. But you got this. Auto. HDR. And time lapse. We got recently added and deleted. The clock has changed a little bit. You got reminders. And you got the weather, which you can go to a view, more detail. Go, well, let's check out Death Valley Barrel. Let's see if we can hear oh, over 20. Nope. Starts. <clears throat> got notes. You got health. iBots. Tips, podcasts, the App Store, which I don't believe there's any keyboard applications right now. Might be in productivity. Not always, though. You got Twinton. Game Center, which hasn't changed. And you got. That hasn't changed. Messaging, which has got the emoji. And you got Quick Type. And quick type is basically like that. Hello. This is Siri. And it works great. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is all. That is all. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? Today, the temperature will range from 63 degrees to 73 degrees. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 8.21 p.m. Good evening, Ducky. Hey Siri, what time is in Tokyo? Japan. It's 9.21 a.m. And we got a bunch of things we can ask. Now we're off to the settings. Notifications. Which I just still money. Freaking stock apps just to annoy me. Your general. Oh, we got about spotlight. We got level. I don't know, but in general. We have the app store, suggested website. Let's see. It's up above and below. Uh, 
to war movies. And it's basically like seal you a little bit somehow. Um, We got grayscale, which doesn't work on me on. Battery usage. The iTunes is a different icon. So basically, and you got a bunch of new wallpapers. Let's see if there's any new for dynamic. Nothing. Yeah. This. And this might be my time to do a quick reply. But let's see. I'm going to use this. Looks nice. All right. And I found drive is active. With the Facebook pages and iMovie and this iPhone. If I'm sure, it's just basically it for this one. And it gives you all the settings. So, I'm going to basically conclude from here that this is just iOS 8 in general. Let's close everything. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it's used for my little bit of a hectic mess. So I hope you enjoyed it and enjoy installing iOS 8.